The Vargas Museum was named after the former Executive Secretary George B. Vargas in the time of the Commonwealth period. On March 1, 1978, George B. Vargas donated all his art collection, stamps, coins, his library, personal papers, and all his memorabilia to his alma mater, the University of the Philippines in Diliman, Quezon City. Then, on February 22, 1980, he died at the age of 89. Then, in 1983, the University of the Philippines in Diliman, Quezon City laid the cornerstone for a building that would house Mr. Vargas' collection which was previously in a private museum located in his residence in Mandaluyong and then moved in the campus of UP Diliman in 1986. The museum was inaugurated by the late former President Corazon Acuanco Aquino on February 1987. The statue that we chose was located outside the Vargas Museum. It was built in 1987 by a great Filipino sculptor named Anastasio Caedo. His style of sculpture was classical realist in the tradition of his mentor, Guillermo Tolentino. He produced commission representational sculptures, mainly monuments of national heroes and successful Filipino politicians, businessmen, and educators. He became a sculptor at the age of 25 and saw his potential while he was at UP and was working with Guillermo E. Tolentino who made the famous statue in UP, the UP Oblation, and the monument of Bonifacio in Caloocan. The UP Oblation statue was actually modeled after Caedo because of his lean and muscular body. He also became a professor in UP School of Fine Arts and served as a teacher for 20 years. He was known as a very meticulous portrait sculptor and had clients like President Aguinaldo, Quezon, Osmeña, Quirino, Marcos, Aquino, and so much more. And in 1990, he died at the age of 83. The sculpture was about Ra Suleiman. It was done by Caedo in 1987. Raha Sulaiman was a Muslim Ra of Manila. He was one of the three Ra's who played a significant role in the drama that was the Spanish conquest of the Kingdom of the Pasig River Delta in the early 1570s. You would see that the statue that Anastasio Caedo did had a lot of details and because as we all know, he was also known as a very meticulous portrait sculptor. Raha Sulaiman was in his native armor is posed in a parade dressed holding a crest on his one hand. The native armor were the things that helped and protected them in the war against the Spaniards, and the swords were the tools that they used. Although this was the original statue, there were changes in the statue, which was the sword that was not really supposed to be at that position when Anastasio Caedo did the sculpture. At ang sabi ng iba ay tila na bali ang kampila or the sword sa gitna. At nung ibinalik ay nabaliktad na ito.